am sorry that I am about three minutes late. My camera battery was dead, so I had to go look for the camera bar battery. I am so sorry. But still, God is in control. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. He is the Lord God Almighty. Thank you for joining us. You've joined Matt and Randy in the morning. We're here to encourage you in the Word that's so you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. That is where true victory is found. That is where true peace is found, is in your relationship with the Lord God Almighty of the universe, the one that created you. Like it says in Psalm 139, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. It doesn't matter what others think. And especially if you're listening to this, the live cast this morning, you know, you're hungry for God, which means the Spirit of the Lord is drawing you to Him. You are blessed to have that. To know that the Lord God Almighty, the Creator of the universe, cares enough to have His Holy Spirit draw you to Him. Don't take it for granted. Accept His love for you. We're going to be in Psalms 63 now in this psalms it says a psalm of david when he was in the wilderness of judah it is believed that this was when he had ran away from absalom absalom his son had been planning for a while to take over the kingdom and now he had taken the steps to do so and david fled to the wilderness with those that wanted to be with him you know the hurt of knowing that your son is doing this the Lord understands hurt you know when you read the Psalms it's not the songs of people who have had everything going really good no a lot of the Psalms come from broken people people that have had a lot of rough things happen to them who have seen a lot of injustice and lying and suffered because of their love for God you know the enemy I tell Matthew a lot of times you know the enemy is not going to fight himself he's after those that are after God but the great thing is that when we stand in God we win the victory no matter what we are victorious in him. I tell you what, it is chillier than I thought it was going to be out here. It's 51 degrees and it feels chilly. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm cold. Um, but I'm glad that the love of the Lord gives us warmth. So, if you have your Bibles, we're going to be in Psalms 63. And again, remember that this comes from a point where here, David has had to escape to the wilderness. The king. You know, because of his son wanting to kill him and take over. Um, there's a lot of hurt involved here. But yet we see a trust in the Lord. It says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life and that word loving kindness there is loyal love it can be translated loyal love so you think about that because your loyal love is better than life the love of the lord is better than anything this world has and we know we, we're all one day going to let go of this flesh of ours in our soul, the part that was created to live forever is going to live in one or two places, hell or heaven. God has made a way for you to be able to live in heaven with him forever. Enjoy all the blessings that he made man and woman to be able to enjoy in him. We are created in his image. You can be part of the royal family of God. All you have to do is accept what Jesus did at Calvary for you obey the law of love that he set forth love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your mind with all your soul with all your spirit 
you know, and love your neighbor as yourself. Be good to one another. What a world this would be if everyone would just follow the word of the Lord. Those simple commandments of loving God and loving people because we realize that we were created in his image. It goes and says, because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. You see, they used to have night watches, and as a night watchman, they would have like three different shifts. And you know, during one of the shifts, you would sleep so that you could be ready for your shift. And it says here, I meditate on you in the night watches. That word meditate is to speak about the things of God, to fill one's mind with the knowledge of God. Fill your mind with the knowledge of God. Look up to the heavens, hear the birds sing. Look at a beautiful flower and realize the creator of all those things loves you. He loves you dearly. It goes on and says, Because you have been my help, therefore in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it, you know, the enemy's out there trying to destroy you. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Shh, but this is what's going to happen to him. And those says, But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They will go into hell. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. You know, here David was the king and he said you know God I'm gonna rejoice in you all these things are going on but I'm gonna rejoice in you his hope was in the Lord and your hope and my hope can be in the same God that David was trusting in it says everyone who swears by him shall glory that there swears by him is those who believe in the Lord so everyone who believes in the Lord shall glory but the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped you know the day will come when the Lord's judgment will come down every knee will bow before our God some will be able to stay in his presence and enjoy the wonderful things that he has prepared for us for eternity others will be sent to hell Others will have torment forever and ever and ever. Not because God chose that for them, but because they chose not to accept God. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Make him Lord of your life. Don't allow things in this world to pull you away from the God Almighty who loves you. Our circumstances, our situations, can't mess with the plans that God has for us. If we stay focused on the Lord, we are victorious in Him. He is the Lord God Almighty. Jonah, even in the middle of the belly's whale or the well, whale's belly or big fish, we, we don't know exactly what fish it was, but even there, God was watching over him. He went through a rough time because he was not wanting to do what God wanted him to do. But God in his mercy and grace saved him and saved the whole city. So keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.